In this video, we're going to talk about how to balance nuclear equations. So in this example problem, we have an isotope of carbon, carbon-14, undergoing beta decay, which means that it's emitting a beta particle or an electron. What is the missing element in this reaction? In order to do that, we need to make sure that this reaction is completely balanced. There's two numbers of interest. The six represents the atomic number of the element carbon, which is equal to the number of protons in this particular element, which is the same as the charge on the nucleus. The top number, the 14, represents the mass number of the element. It's the sum of the number of protons and neutrons. So in this element, in carbon-14, that isotope has six protons 8 neutrons. 14 minus 6 is 8. Now in order to balance the nuclear equation, we need to make sure that the mass is the same on both sides. And also, the total nuclear charge has to be the same. So right now this is 0, which means that we're missing a 14. Because we need a sum of 14 on the right and 14 on the left. Now, on the left side, the total nuclear charge is 6. On the right side, it's negative 1. So negative 1 plus what number is 6? Now, what you could do is you can write an equation. You could say 6 is equal to negative 1 plus some missing number, which we can call x, and then do some algebra. In order to get x by itself, we need to add 1 to both sides. So x is 7. So now that we've identified the missing atomic number, we need to identify the element. And we need to use the periodic table to get the job done. So the mass numbers can vary for different elements, or even for the same element. However, the atomic number always identifies the element. So using the periodic table, what element has an atomic number of 7? There's only one. And this is nitrogen. So that's how you can identify the missing element. It's by looking at the atomic number. And now the equation is balanced. We can see that the mass numbers are the same on both sides. It's 14 on both sides. And the nuclear charge is also the same. It's 6 on the left, and it's a total of 6 on the right. Negative 1 plus 7 is 6. So that's how you can balance a nuclear equation. Now let's get rid of that. Here's another example. Nitrogen-14 is bombarded with neutrons in the upper atmosphere. And as a result, it produces hydrogen and some missing element. And what is the missing element that we need to put there to balance this nuclear equation? Go ahead and try this problem. Feel free to pause the video if you want to. So first, let's determine, well, let's write an equation, starting with the mass numbers. So let's put M for mass numbers. So on the left side, we have 14 plus 1. And that equals to, on the right side, 1 plus some number. Let's call this Y, and let's call this X, and we'll call the element Actually, let's use A for this, because that's, let's make this M. I'm going through different letters here. M is for mass number, Z is for atomic number, and we'll say A is the element. So this is going to be 1 plus M. So we have 14 plus 1 is equal to 1 plus M. Now let's solve for M. Note that if we subtract 1 from both sides, these two will cancel, and we'll get that M is equal to 14. So let's replace M with that. Now let's calculate the atomic number Z. So on the left, if we focus on the bottom numbers, we have 7 plus 0, and that's equal to 1 plus Z. So trying to get Z by itself, if we subtract both sides by 1, we can see that Z is 6. And the element with an atomic number of 6 
we know this to be carbon. So when nitrogen-14 in the upper atmosphere is bombarded by neutrons in space, it produces hydrogen and it regenerates the carbon-14 isotope. Now let's work on some more examples. So next we have thorium-230 and this particular element undergoes alpha decay. So an alpha particle is basically a helium nucleus. Go ahead and identify the missing element. Calculate the mass and the atomic number of the missing element and then identify that element. So once again, let's write an equation. So we have 230 is equal to four plus M, looking at the numbers on top. So to solve for M, we're gonna subtract both sides by four. Thus the mass of the missing element is 226. Now let's use the numbers on the bottom. That is the nuclear charge or the atomic numbers. So 90 is equal to two plus C. Subtracting both sides by two, we get that Z is equal to 88. So now let's get rid of this. So our missing element has a mass of 226 and an atomic number of 88. So what element, according to the periodic table, has an atomic number of 88? This element is Ra, radium. So that's how we can balance this particular nuclear equation and at the same time identify the missing element. Here's another example. Mercury 201 undergoes electron capture that is where the nucleus captures an inner core electron and it produces a gamma particle plus a missing element. What is the missing element? So just by looking at this, we can see that M is going to be 201 because here we have zero. So we know that the mass of the missing element is 201. And Z, we can clearly see that Z is the sum of these numbers because the zero is not going to change anything. So 80 plus negative 1 is 79. So the missing element has a mass of 201, an atomic number of 79. And now using the periodic table, we can identify what element has an atomic number of 79. And this is gold. So when mercury 201 undergoes electron capture, it turns into gold 201. What about this example? Aluminum 27 is bombarded with an alpha particle and it produces a neutron and a missing element. Go ahead and work on that example. So starting with the numbers on top, we see that 27 plus 4 is equal to 1 plus m. So add in 27 and 4, we get 31. And then subtract in 1 from both sides. We can see that m is 30 in this example. Now, focusing on the numbers on the bottom, we have 13 plus 2 is equal to 0 plus z. 0 plus z is just z, 13 plus 2 is 15. So the atomic number is 15. So we have a mass of 30, an atomic number of 15, and the element that corresponds to a nuclear charge of 15 is phosphorus. So that's the missing element in this example. Now let's work on one more practice problem. Let's say we have uranium-238 and it's bombarded with carbon atoms. And in this process, it generates six neutron particles plus the missing element. What is the missing element in this case? So let's put M, Z, and A. So let's start by calculating M. On the left side, we have 238 plus 12. On the right side, we have six times one. So don't forget to multiply the one by six. And then let's do the algebra. 238 plus 12 is 250. And then if we subtract 
250 by 6, we get 244. So that's the mass number in this example. Now, focusing on the numbers on the bottom, we have 92 plus 6 is equal to, this is 6 times 0, so you could ignore that, and then plus z. So 92 plus 6 is 98. So we have a mass number of 244, an atomic number of 98. So what element has an atomic number of 98? This element is Californium, CF. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to balance nuclear equations. Thanks for watching.